Hello and welcome. Today we are taking a look at Dragon Eclipse. This is a kind of like a like a Pokemon meets like a Slay the Spire thing where we're, we are a tamer. Our job is to collect up these creatures. Uh, we can evolve the creatures. We can evolve our hand for combat and head out into the world before the eclipse ruins everything. This is by Far Dust and published by Awakened Realms. Thanks, Awakened Realms, for sponsoring this video. Uh, but it's an early access at the moment, uh, as of today, actually, June 24th, and there is links bouncing around, and you can check that out uh, and get it on sale and all that for the first release thing. But anyway, this is me the there with with the cloak there. This is sort of my, my home base, and we will we will collect up our uh, creatures, our um, I forget what they call themselves, wildlings, mislings, mislings. I think is what it's called. Any, anyway, we have uh, only one character unlocked. Actually, no characters unlocked. So we are going to be Arcana Default and head off into the world. The um, the game sort of all around revolves around having these creatures where they are lined up in combat. It's also very important. Uh, and also, each creature has its own special activation. And there's sort of a system in activating your creatures. So then they boost the other guy, then they boost the other guy. I think I have a decent system here that I figured out while playing. Uh, and that is... We're going to put Pine Queek here in the front. We're going to put uh, old Iceling behind there because Iceling, if he gets activated, he's going to apply one strength plus one attack to the fellow in front of him. And when he hits, he's going to hit things. Uh, and then gonna, behind that, we also have Galomo here who adds Vulnerable to the front guy, which is great. But we also have uh, Fail here, great name, uh, who activates all other Mistlings. And so we can put him in the back, activate that guy, he'll activate that guy, he'll activate that guy. So you'll see how everything works here. You'll, you'll see it. Anyway, welcome to the world. we got 12 days till the eclipse hits. Let's get in and see what a battle is all about here. Okay, so um, you can see their attack power. I've got mana, three mana. We can spend my abilities here. You can see a deck builder before. They're all kind of the same sort of thing. Uh, they're going to be hitting me for two damage. Front dude, front dude for two damage. And he's not doing anything just yet. You can see their health over there. Now... We can just do it the basic way. We can just throw out an attack. He hits for two damage, that kind of a thing. Uh, but the game really sort of revolves around this activation thing. And so you can see whenever um, when he gets activated, he hits for half his uh, one, one point of damage. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, and when he gets hurt, we, we get a free like blind anger card. We'll see what that does in a second. I'm going to use one of these blind anger cards, which is zero mana. It's a random. One of my random guys attacks one of the random ones of them. So, sure. There you go. So he attacked. He doesn't have any attack, so he's actually kind of worthless at attacking, but he's good at activating. I didn't get any of those cards, so I can't really show that off. But with my three mana, uh, I'm going to first apply some shields to front guy so he can defend those. And then I'm just going to let this guy back here attack. And he just sort of attacks random. He smacked him for three damage because he saw the three power there. It's down to two now, and my turn is done. I have a whole deck of cards here, and you'll see this when we get through the combat. When the combat is done, we can either... We can either boost, actually we do both I guess, we can boost my hand, the cards that I have, we can boost my my Mistlings, um, eventually we can evolve my Mistlings into cooler Mistlings, uh, you'll see it all. My health also is persistent, so if they get beat down in a battle, it's not going to be good for the next battle. Uh, so this guy is going to be, what are you doing? You're going to be gaining Wrath, which means you're going to be hitting harder, and you're going to be hitting, uh, oh the guy in the back, well that's not very nice. Okay, so here we go. So we've got to activate a Mistling. This is what I want to do. Actually, I had a couple of these. Actually, this is probably a better one, because this one... Um, yeah, we want to do this one. So this is only one mana. So we're going to activate Fail back here. Who activates this guy, adds a power, then this guy gets to hit. Also, I forgot to mention this, at the start of your turn, your front guy always gets to, gets, a, gets an attack. So you got to... A big part of the game is, is organizing your, your Mistlings. With my remaining two mana... Uh, I probably should put a shield on old Fail back here. We'll do that. We'll shield up, and we will shield up. Well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, sure, we'll shield you. Okay. So he's buffing himself, and then there's the first round of the turn. Everyone kind of gets their activate thing, and we get to hit. So he's going to hit for five damage now. That's going to hurt. Uh, wait, deal five damage to self. I want to play vulnerable to all of us. Oh, I'd rather you not do that. I'd rather you not do that. Uh, I can stun him. But I think it's probably better to get this guy. Well, he will die. Everything sort of works from right to left as far as the order of, of operations. I don't remember if we're right to left also. I forget. Um, I'm going to activate you. So we'll get that guy dead. 
Uh, he's going to hurt himself and add vulnerable to us, which means we're going to take more damage. Uh, his gate strength is one because he activated. Add one strength to him, and then he will get more damage going out there. Uh, with my remaining two, do I just attack the guy? Or do I? Well, there's no point in shielding up. Let's just hit the guy with four damage. Okay. He almost killed himself, and at the beginning of the round, we get an attack. We hit him. Done. Okay, so the currencies in the game are Mistberry and Gold. Uh, gold we use for, well, we'll see what Gold comes in, but Mistberry is what we do for, after every combat. We get Mistberries. We can use them to uh, like revive our guys or buff our guys. So we can spend some um, spend some getting a card. We can spend some getting a um, uh, boof, buffing our, uh, our Mistlings, not boofing, buffing. And so for every... Every fifth activation, we heal a mistling with lowest health for three. That's actually pretty good. Um, every fifth activation, reduce energy cost of random card. Or whenever you gain strength, gain one more. See, that, that, that's good stuff. So I'm going to use my six on this guy. Because he's getting strength from him. So we'll make him into a, a, a little beastly fella. Excellent. And there goes my berries. Um, I don't know. Draw card, reduce its energy cost to zero until the end of the round. Activate a mistling wound self for one damage. Eh. Wounds left to missling for three damage gain. There's a lot of those. There's a lot of those like wounding myself. I'm not into that wounding myself stuff. Maybe if I had a healer. Anyway, we got some combats right here. We can't progress until we throw it, but until we finish this one. But you can see the eclipse is ticking down. We got another easy battle here. We can see, and uh, we'll see if that strength thing works out well. I think it's gonna. We got five attack at the start. So you're gonna hit front guy. You're gonna hit front guy. Um, I will. Dude, there's something to be said about doing this activate a missling first and then doing the random because he might buff him. So I will activate a missling first. Because then he gets buffed up. He's at four damage now. We can just tell him to attack. I'm going to do that because that's a freebie. That's not the one I wanted. Uh, with my one remaining, I will add a shield to this fellow. Okay. I haven't played a ton, but. From what I've, this seems like a pretty good combo for the starting creatures that I get. Uh, this guy was one was a random one that I was able to draw. Or maybe no, this fail fail was a new guy that I was able to draw out after playing after finishing the tutorial. Um, but there's a whole bunch of creatures, you know. So you get the front guy. You're gonna you're gonna do that uh, that gain wrath, which means you're gonna hit harder. So basically, the longer the combats go, the the harder they're gonna hit. Uh, <clears throat> I will activate you, and you're both doing four damage. I don't need any shields because... Oh, you are going to hit. I do need some shields. And, uh... That's not any, I don't have any mana for anything else. So, I'll let him defend. And then hit. And then hit real hard. Excellent. Can I kill him? Yeah, I can kill him this one. And then just attack, buddy. Four damage. That's enough. Okay. Easy combo. Row one, attack one time. You can play, increase the value by grow count but until the end of the battle. Uh, overload. Play this card as many times as the number of cards played this round. And then it's exhausted. And then I try, also try, trigger the ability. Yeah, you know what? I'll take that. I will take that. Um, okay, with my, with my remaining six, I can't find anything. I should have looked at these first. If we don't, I think if we don't buy anything, we get a we get one, which I'm getting. Okay. Yeah, we get one free one. I didn't understand that. Maybe we get one free one if we want another one. It costs a berry. I guess that's that's what happens. I didn't catch that before. Okay, so we got a regular battle up here. We have a regular battle, and we also have a hard battle. There's something sparkly over there. Hmm. Either way, I'm gonna have to go through more fights. Let's. Which one do I want? There's a treasure chest over there. I want treasure. Also, I don't want to do a hard battle. I lost last time I did the hard battle, so let's stick with the easy battles. Okay, hey, there it is. Uh, so, exhaust... Where is it? Um, play this card as many times as the number of cards played this round. So, that'd be good. If I get a bunch of those zero cards, that'd be the one to use. And then it's exhausted, so I'm not going to use the first round. Um, I, could, I could use it, though, and I could, I could activate him a few times, and that would be good stuff. Uh, who you hitting? You're hitting the first guy three times. You're sleeping, and you're doing what? You're doing the ra uh, wrath to him. Okay, well, we will activate you. 
Yeah, we do. Um, and then I will guard. Tempted to do it just, just to do it twice. Because that's a lot of strength that's going to come in there. Just to use it. Just because I want to see what it does. Yeah, what else am I going to do? Guard. That's pretty neat. I like that. I, I like that card. There's our free hit. Okay. Good good combo, I think. I'm happy with this. Uh, there we go. So this this blind anger. That's, that's the kind of thing that uh, would go well with that other card. So we'll go ahead and... What are you doing? You're gonna hit. You're gonna. You're gonna what? Oh, gaining wrath on yourself. What do you have? Faint. Summon one small necro worm. And you're gonna heal yourself. Heal him. So I with. I don't have much. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate you. And then we will blind anger a couple times. Wish you would hit him. Um, and then with my remaining one, I'll do nothing. I'll put a shield on myself, which won't do anything any good. Okay. Uh, he's got one hit points. Oh, I forget. Yeah, he yeah, had that, that thing. Uh, okay, so two left. Um, he's going to hit me for two. I want to shield myself. I'd rather not get... I'd rather not take damage. Yeah. And really, it's probably best the way I have this sort of set up with because we get the attack at the beginning of the round anyway. It's probably best to do the whole stun, stun technique, you know, keep them keep them stun locked because I get a free hit in there, and then the the, the strength adds up. I think it's probably the best way best way to do it. Uh, permanent increased power by five. Start of the battle, become stunned for the first two rounds. I don't know about that one. Uh, always target the last enemy when attacking, or every fifth activation, heal the missling with the lowest health. I don't have anyone damaged right now. Uh, apply vulnerable. Double vulnerable to selected enemy. That's two mana, though. Um, I don't want to really want to re-roll. Always attack the last enemy when attacking. You know, let's try that. We can put it on this guy. Let's try to buff up this guy real good. I guess it's more expensive, but whatever. Yeah, have that. So once you get four, once you get four of those things on these guys, they will evolve. And he'll become not, not quite as cute, I guess. All right. These guys are a little more... Uh, this is like a normal, normal battle, I think. So he's going to be hitting that guy first, which is great. I think that's a good idea because that's always the buff bot or whatever. Uh, what do we got? We got three mana, so we can go and... We don't want to do that just yet. Why does that card always come out first? Uh, that's okay, though, because we can do the... We can do the guard. I get to use it twice. That's fine. Guard will blind anger, which is no good. And then we will do. Hmm. I'm real hesitant to hold on to that. You have life steal. Ah, I'm gonna do it. I can't resist. I'm sure it'd be better if I held on to it and, it and it, I got lucky and it sort of showed up. But look at all that power that adds up when I use that thing. Okay, so they're gonna hit me. They're gonna hit back, guy in back. So guy in back needs shield for sure. Unless we get him killed, but we're not gonna. So we will. We will shield guy in back for what? Four damage. And then I'm gonna activate you. Yeah. And then I got another shield I can do. Yeah, be, be extra shielded. I like this. I like this hitting the guy in the back. Okay, so you're going to do 5 damage to yourself, and you're going to add Vulnerable to us. We saw that before. Okay, uh, activate. And I think we're just going to attack. With, uh, you got 4 health, that, that'll work. 4, four power, I mean. Okay, he'll injure himself, then we'll hit him. Okay. Mist berries. Stimulation, grow 1, activate 1. Increase its grow count by the end of the battle. Attack with power equal to shields. Uh, double vulnerable. Knockout, double strength. Increases power until the end of the round when the creature defeats other... Oh, whenever you... Knockout, when creature defeats other creature. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. You knock, you knock yourself out, you knock out someone else. 
Oh, if I give you a shield, you get one damage to a random enemy. That may not be too bad. I do shields just to waste my mana. Oh, here we go. Keep half strength until the start of your round. That's good stuff. Because he's getting all kinds of strength. Yeah, we want that one on him. Do that backwards all the time. Okay, there we go. Do I want one of these? Yeah, I want that one. I don't know if it matters. Like, who takes... Oh, that's just... Oh, no, I saw that. Oh, that lights up. I'll take that. I probably should be taking more of those. Okay, let's go... What's, what's in the box? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, one card. Activate and missling twice. Excellent. Discard entire hand or exhaust. Remove the card. Move the deck until the end of the battle. Next played card we triggered to. Not with this one. Double activation. That's my kind of thing. Okay, so we got spooky thing over here. We got a hard battle. Let's go do it. We got freaky guy with tails. We got flying dude. And we have one of those little guys. So this is going to be a really painful attack because they're all going for that guy. Every time this card is played, it increases its grow value. It's going to trigger a Mistling's activation ability. So we need to put that on this guy. I need to get a guard in here first. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because he's about to get whooped. I kind of wish I had more, more than one. And then we will... I'm going to do that. And then with my remaining one, I'm going to do this one again, I think. Play this card as many times as... Yeah, so... Do that one again. I got one of them done. He's going to get hit hard. I got no more mana. No more defense here. Ow. So him getting hit, though, gives me these blind anger cards, which ain't so bad because those are basically just free hits. It takes a random one of my guys and hits him randomly. Uh, what I want to do, though, is I want to activate this fella as much as I can. Get as much strength before we do the random just in case it hits him. And he's going to hit me for four, but I think we're going to kill him this round. We'll do this just in case. He's got a good shield there. Um, yeah, I got I got a shield up. Can't be taking damage. Okay. Yeah, keeping that armor. Oh, that's good stuff. Okay. Oh, Pine Queek. Pin Queek. What's your name? Whatever your name is, you're great. When hurt, draw one. Uh, I can't afford any of these things. Every time this card is played, increase its growth counts, and then I apply increases power until the end of the round. I get two ener two free energy. Faint this missling afterwards means means they die. I saw nowhere in there did I see where faint meant until I did it last time and I killed off my guys. <laughs> that wasn't as good. I guess I'll take one of these. Yeah. I'll take some energy. Okay. I can't afford any of this stuff. I guess I could re-roll and maybe get something cheaper. Um, let's see if I can. I don't know. Yeah, it's expensive. I guess they're expensive because they're on him. That's why they're piling up. Okay. Let's open the chest. I got money and a bowl of garlic. Excellent. Excellent. Growth totem. So, we can enhance this fella. Enhance you. What does it do? What's, what's, what does the enhancement do? Your talent is a revive first fainted missling with one health. Oh, hey, look at that. Uh, I will enhance you. Okay. Okay. By the way, all my cards are right here. There's my deck. It's a deck builder, you know. Uh, that, my, that bowl is hanging out up here so we can use this at any point whenever we feel. Uh, let's go to another, another hard combat. Here we do. I'm not going to that one. One more hard battle. Same guys. Okay. Uh, we will do uh, that one. This is going to be another one where they're going to hit me real hard at the beginning. I'm getting like lousy um, those shield ones here. Okay. That was kind of a bad round. Kind of whooped. Uh, yeah, give me. Do I need it? Yeah, sure. 
Probably should save that for a opportune time, but whatever. He's gonna hit the guy in the back for five. I could I could stun him. Yeah, because he's got 30 health. And we can do the, the rest. You're hitting, you're hitting him for... I gotta guard you. I will stun. Yeah, I'm gonna stun you. Do my freebies. Okay, there we go. I gotta hit a little bit. a couple times. I think we, we got him killed. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll, we'll, we'll do this Okay, he's gonna hit me for four, so I'd rather not that not happen. So we will guard myself. Keep my, keep my little friend here alive. Uh, and then we're just gonna... Can't afford this one. Knock out. Gain one mulberry. When you knock one out, you get a mulberry. Cool. Uh, once creature is attacked, it takes additional damage equal to the vulnerable value. When the creature is attacked, even when it doesn't lose health. When it's attacked, I gain one vulnerable to the front. Okay, so whenever you hit me... Okay. Paint. Revive with full health. Only works once. Has me concerned because it says cursed. Takes additional damage equal to the vulnerable value. So whenever I'm attacked, you're gonna put vulnerable. Yeah, I think that's what I, I think that's what I want. I think I'm not reading that wrong. But we, I, I got I gotta get in that because I want to evolve him. And now he's hideous. His blind anger is turning into a gold blind anger. Uh, when he hurt, add two unupgraded blind cards to my hand, or increase his max health by 20, or increase his power by 4. I think his, his, uh, his power is good. I'm gonna give him some health. There we go. Two of those cards, every time I got hit, would be a nice one, too. 40 health. Excellent. Excellent, because I'm kind of worried about that guy. Uh, attack on enemies. Double, um, oh, well, I can put that on him so he could hit everyone. Oh, that's good stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because if I can get that going, and he's got like 12 power or whatever, then we're made in the shade. Let's go visit another chest. Money. What do we have over here? Uh, I will upgrade a card. Ooh, a free activation? Okay. Um... Attack all enemies for only one mana. That sounds like a deal. I'm getting to the point maybe where I need to upgrade like a um, a guard with 11 shield. But I think, you know what? If we just kill everything real hard, that could be good. Um, basically, it's just lowering the mana cost of things. Yeah. The stun down to two would probably be useful because I'm not really using it because I don't like using all my mana for that. But that's that might be better. All of the all, attack all enemies might be the better one to do. You know what? Let's do the elite battle. Close out this video on a on a on Terok here. I want to see what big guy does. So he's gonna hit me for five. Uh, well, I don't need to stun him because I can just guard for one and it'll it'll negate all his stuff. So I'll go ahead and guard myself. Um. That would be really cool if there was a fight and there was more than one person. We will activate. Ooh, he's got 200 health. I don't know if I should save that. I'm saving it this time. Because I got a, I got a discard and I have an exhaust deck. So I won't get to use it anymore. Um, does that mean you're going to hit everybody for six? Well, you can't hit him for six. He died. Or nine? You hit him for nine? I looked at that wrong, apparently. Well, all right. I gotta keep you alive. 
I can get rid of this. Oh, I can't do it. I can't. It costs one to use it. Build up. Preparing a strong attack. I think I might die on this one. I'm gonna die. Um, I'm gonna do this to activate and get his strength up, and then we're gonna do the uh, the blind and hope that it's him hitting. And it was. No, no, we're not going. Um, and then with our remaining one, we're gonna do nothing because the shields don't stay. We're gonna hit him for 14 five times. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna stun you. I, I didn't. I forgot to look to see if you were stunnable. I'm glad. I, I'm glad you are. Okay, and then we're gonna do the um, this one. Ooh, that damage! Now he's gonna hit me real hard, but I think we got him. I think I got him. Activate twice. Okay, I got him. Um. Attack. Ooh. <laughs> Excellent. Ooh, look at all them Miss Berries. All right. Increase power by three. This Missling can't be revived. Um, to its previous blessing, this Missling, Missling received. Like the one that I just got where it has a little vulnerable thing on him. So it apply two vulnerable to him. I probably should be buffing these guys. I'm gonna increase power by three. Yeah, I don't. You know what? I don't. All I care about is this guy being cool. So can I give that to you? So if I were here, it'd be cheaper. Um. So he now double. He has a double thing. Yeah, lots of vulnerable going on. All right. Two times wound self for two damage. Uh, there's one of those things and activate twice and attack. Okay. Here we go. What do we? Let's see what we have here, and then we'll call it. Oh, a merchant. I can spend my cash. There's when my cash comes in. Activated missling five times. Okay. What do you got? You got some meat, some steak, some garlic, and people love garlic in this world and in, in pothead worlds. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't think about what I was saying until after I said it. And then we have a care center. We can heal people or enhance. Yeah, we're all kind of beat down from that last fight. Um, enhance does... I can just make you, like, stronger or whatever. Like, we gotta heal. Again, like, assuming we get to heal one of you. No, oh, no, I got... It just costs money. I got money. There you go. 75 gold for three health. Okay. All healed up and ready to end the video. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. This is Dragon Eclipse. It is out now on Steam. There are links bouncing around there in the description. You can check it out. Thanks, Fardust and Awakened Realms, for sponsoring this video. And uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.